What is up guys, my name is Vikin2002 here and in this video I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to use the brand new camos in Warzone being the Titanium Chrome, the Liquid Metal, and also the Skynet Camo on any other weapon in the game, not just Vanguard weapons, you can do this with Cold War ones, and you can also do this with Modern Warfare guns as well. As you see in the gameplay right now, I'm actually using a Titanium Chrome Camo on my Krig and it looks pretty cool. Now before we get into the video, I would like to give a massive thanks to the big sponsor for this video being Diamond Resupply. Make sure to click the link in the description to get the best Cold War services which include Instant Dark Aether Unlocked and much more. Make sure to use code Vakuna to get 10% off your order and what's great is that they don't require any login info and all it takes is a simple join in the game, 5-10 to 10 minutes of your time and then you're done. Please join their discord which is on their website where you guys can ask any question and get support 24-7. Big thanks to once again Diamond Resupply for sponsoring this video. Now back to the actual glitch. So the requirements for this are quite simple, make sure you do have a friend to help you and if you don't have a friend please comment your Activision ID in the comment section below to find someone that can help you. Now if you also have a second platform to do this you can also do that to make it 100% solo. The second requirement is actually to have a mouse connected to your platform. If you guys are on console make sure you do have one connected to your console. And the third and final requirement is actually to have the camel unlocked on your account in order to actually put it on other weapons. So if you guys want to put on liquid metal, make sure you have it unlocked. The easiest camel obviously is to have titanium chrome, so that's what I'm going to be using in the video. If you guys are on PC, make sure to go ahead and click the link in the description below to an auto clicker. Here are the settings that I'm going to have and make sure you do have these settings active on your auto clicker. If it doesn't work for you in Warzone, just make sure to run it as an administrator. But pretty much I would recommend every PC player to use this auto clicker as it makes it 100% easier so to start this whole entire glitch off what you want to do is go ahead and get yourself into warzone use any loadout you want to use for this glitch it doesn't matter but make sure to remember the loadout number so I'm gonna be using custom class number one now you guys can do this on primary weapons and secondary weapons but unfortunately for melees and launchers or I think I believe the riot shield as well you will not be able to save it as a blueprint you can still use it in game but you just will not be able to save it and maybe for modern warfare weapons you won't be able to even use it in actual modern warfare so here's complete proof I'm not using a unlock tool or anything I don't have anything unlocked really for this Mac 10 other than dark aether so after that, once you guys are ready, what you want to do is go ahead and go into a private match on Warzone. Click any game mode, it doesn't really matter, I usually choose Battle Royale Solos. Once you guys are in a private match, what you want to do is go ahead and go into the edit loadouts and click on the actual loadout number that you're using previously. So I'm going to be using custom loadout number 1. And on that class, you actually want to put on the weapon that has the camo unlocked. Depending on whatever weapon category you're doing this on, you can do this either on the primary or the secondary. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to be doing this on the primary. As you see here, I do have titanium chrome unlocked on the vanguard weapon, and we're going to be placing it on the back 10. So what you want to do is go into the gunsmith of that weapon. Go ahead and have your friend go into a warzone lobby and send you an invite or make sure he's joinable. And keep in mind, you're going to have around 30 seconds to a minute before it does kick you out of your friend's lobby once you do join in. So make sure to do this part quickly. Now this portion of the video I'm going to be showing just for people that are using the auto clicker on PC. What you want to do is before you join them, change the activation key to the left mouse button and go ahead and go back into Warzone and join your friend. I do have a method for this glitch on console, so just make sure to wait a little bit or go to the actual time frame. So, if you guys are on PC using the auto clicker, once you've activated your actual auto clicker, go ahead and join your friend. Once you guys join your friend, it's gonna kick you out of the loadouts. Go back into your loadouts and make sure that it's a private match one still. Go onto the same class and go onto the camo that actually has the camo unlocked on there and hover over the camo category that has the limited time event camos. Make sure not to move your mouse while hovering over the actual camo category and hold down your left mouse button. You should hear this and as soon as you hear that you're going to tell your friend to click onto any game mode. It doesn't really matter but as soon as he clicks onto that game mode what should happen is it should completely camo swap for you on the other end. On your end as you see here it immediately camo swapped and I was able to go ahead and slap on whatever camo was in my event category onto any other 
weapon that was the MAC-10 for example. Now you can go ahead and back out of your friend's lobby and turn off the auto clicker after that. You can make a custom mod with this, you can go ahead and save it, use it. If you guys are using Modern Warfare weapons, of course you can go ahead and use it in Modern Warfare, just make sure you do save it as a custom mod. Now that is the easiest method in order to hit this glitch. Now unfortunately this glitch does work on console and I do have proof right here I actually did it. But unfortunately, it is probably going to be really, really hard for most of you guys that are doing this with a friend or even with a second platform. It even took me a while. The console method is the exact same thing. Just make sure when you're on the last part, use your mouse and hover over the camel category. Tell your friend to go into any Warzone game mode and you want to time it to where when it puts you in the lobby, you're going to go ahead and spam onto the camel category and it should allow you to camel swap just like that. Now one sign to know that you're doing the timing for this way too quickly is if you go into the camel category immediately and it kicks you out immediately as well. So just make sure to slow it down and try perfecting your time a lot but like I said this is a really really tough and tricky glitch. Now that is going to be it for the video guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I hope I answered most of them or I helped most of you guys' answers out in the previous videos as well. And make sure to go check out the founders. Their links will also be linked and also make sure to go on to Diamond Resupply for the best services possible. But yeah that's going to be it for the video guys. Ukun 2002 signing out.